What's up? Making a little mid squat workout video doing a just hit my fourth set of 10 with 185. Probably gonna work to one more. So do a five by 10 with 185. Feels good. Not too heavy, uh, not too light, but you know, I probably could have done 195 for these sets if I had to, but it feels good to kind of leave some in the tank. Uh, so this video, I wanna talk about working out at home. And I've done this for the last like 10 years, just because I live you know, at home with my dad right now and I have, you know, since high school, but, and it, obviously I wanna move out eventually, but even when I do move out, I wanna bring some weights with me. So fortunately we've got two barbells here. Uh, one of them's a power bar, one of them's a weightlifting bar, which we just uh, removed the rust from. So it kind of, weightlifting bars help with the turnover. So when you pull, um, and then you, you know, catch in the front rack or in a snatch, right? So weightlifting bars, they spin a little easier in the, the party grip. Yeah, so we're working out at home, okay? Factor in time, okay? There's like five main factors to your program. And I'm not talking about volume, intensity, frequency, those kind of things, rest and load. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like time, energy, willingness, equipment availability, and finances. So, and that's, yeah, it's from the Czech Institute. But still, think about it. If you drive to the gym, let's say the gym's 10 minutes away. That's great. I think 20 minutes, the, the farthest I drove for a gym was 20 minutes. And when I was going to a gym consistently for about two years, it was 20 minutes away. And I can tell you now, having done that for a couple years, I don't ever want to do it again. Uh, <laughs> unless it's like the perfect environment and I have nothing else going on you know, in my life. I can afford to just train that much. But for me, I've found that workouts that are 30 to 45 minutes are sufficient and they're, they're better. So shorter, like under an hour, well under an hour. And if you're driving to a gym, it takes you 10 to 15 minutes to get there you know, you factor in getting ready and then when you get home you got to unload whatever you brought so that's about anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes your whole workout ideally is 30 to 45 so your workout's now twice as long just sitting in a car driving to the gym and then you got gas costs and whatever and maybe you get hungry or something you got to stop somewhere on the way home and you're not eating the stuff that you bought you're not eating the good food you bought so you're maybe falling off the diet wagon anyway working out at home Find a space in your home, find a room, find somewhere, and buy some basic stuff. I mean, a sandbag. It's perfect. You can get a sandbag from Strong Fit for like 100 bucks. All kinds of different weight sizes and capacities. Sand is like $4 for 50 pounds of it. Might be different now, but it's, yeah, I mean, four or five bucks for 50 pounds of sand. Get a 100 pound sandbag or start off with a 60 or even, you know, go lighter. You don't need much. I mean, you got a home gym right there. Get a little two by four, uh, cost you five bucks, six bucks, whatever. You can walk on it, practice your balance. You can do a little bit of flexibility stuff. You know, the larger investment is some mats. You know, get a stack of mats, like what I use to stretch and stuff. A couple hundred bucks maybe, or you can probably go cheaper. You can probably find some used stuff, find used barbells, used racks, used weights, Craigslist, eBay, whatever. Neighborhood app, right, all this stuff. It's cheaper. I mean, a gym membership, still like 10, 30 bucks a month, whatever, uh, 50, depends where you go, right? But in the long run, a year on a gym membership, even at 10 bucks is 120 bucks. You could buy a sandbag for that and work out at home, save a bunch of time, energy, save finances over the course of your life. Your willingness goes up because you're more likely to do it because it's right there in your house. You dedicate the space in the house, that space, you put on your shoes, you put on whatever, that space and that clothing, all that creates the mindset, you know, and, and you go, and you get used to it. So time, energy, willingness, equipment availability and finances, buy some basic equipment. You don't even need anything to start really. Save your finances long-term, your willingness goes up, your energy's there because you're at home. <sighs> Saves you time, yeah. It meets all five criteria for me, so. Maybe it can for you too.